13 Ways to Flip Private Label Rights for Profit Few people in the internet marketing niche have never heard of private label rights, or PLR, but many of them don't know how to use it to make money. As you probably know, content is written by authors who sell it under the terms of certain rules or rights. With this PLR, you can generally take that content and change it any way that you like, put your name on it, and rebrand it to sell as your own information product. You can copyright it as your own, and all the profits go to you. The key to using PLR is to transform or edit it into a new information product that is uniquely an expression of you. The fact is that there are so many PLR sources that many marketers sell the same content without editing it in any way, or worse yet, they sell it at the same price as others. Some PLR is so poorly written, it will only give you a rough outline that needs to be fleshed out into a quality product. Other PLR is very well written, but it still needs to be fully edited and transformed into a new product that you can copyright and sell as your own. There are a variety of different ways that you can quickly and easily repurpose or flip your PLR into high quality information products. They will provide valuable information to help people solve their problems and with this unique content, you will be able to charge higher prices. But to do this, you will need to repackage your new product in a way that will make people want to pay more for your information than your competitors who are selling the same things as nearly everyone else. Some of these techniques will allow you to transform your PLR into quality information products to make you exceptional profits. Number one, always modify the PLR package. Modifications should be made for all aspects of the PLR to transform it into your own unique information product. Select a new title that will raise enough questions for the readers to read the information. Replace the graphics in the PLR with those that represent your message. You can go to Fiverr.com to have this done. There's a category for graphics and designs. There are professional artists on the site that render high quality work for a low price. Next, revise the sales letter. If you don't rewrite the whole letter, alter the headline and the first few paragraphs or subtopics. It won't take long to do this. You will have a product that is a unique expression of your vision or message. Number two, email and autoresponder formats. Supply your email subscriber list with this content automatically through autoresponders when they opt into your list. Use it as an advertorial, an advertisement in the format of an editorial. Electronic books in digital format for reading on handheld mobile devices and all forms of computers. Number three, social content. Marketing your business content on social media venues. You can do this with digital newsletters, which will help with building a relationship with present customers and prospects by providing them quality content that will lead to the purchase of your product. Next would be blogging. Blog owners can create consistent quality content, and their subscribers are allowed to make entries or posts to comment on the subject matter. Number four, mobile applications. Prepare your content for use through mobile apps in an ebook format or various other content formats for handheld devices. Another way is through webinars, a web conference that allows for an audience in various remote locations to listen in and participate with questions. Number five, article marketing. It's a form of advertising where articles are strategically placed online to promote a product or business. These articles provide quality content. Teleclasses and telecasts. Distance learning through online classes in the online broadcasting format. Number six, print magazines and newsletters. Place your content in the form of articles for magazines and newsletters to subscribers. Number seven, case studies. Supply content on a specific problem using actual occurrences and solutions. You can use your content for a podcast for a series of digital episodes in audio, video, and written formats downloaded or watched by subscribers online. Number eight, videos. These can provide exceptional avenues for quality content and promotional advertising. Number nine, microsites. A web page or a small group of pages that exist within a website. Number 10, white papers. Authoritative content that addresses an issue and helps a reader with decision making or problem resolution. Number 11, alter the delivery format. An ebook can be separated into components for an autoresponder course delivered in increments of respective days or weeks. One option is to hold a month long webinar that elaborates on one pivotal element each week. Another option is to record the content into videos, MP3s, or a combination of all or several of the aforementioned formats. Modification to the means of delivery will produce a fresh product far more valuable than the original version. Number 12. 
integrate assorted rewritten PLR content sources into one. For instance, several PLR books on converting clicks to sales can be separated into several components and put back together to form a detailed and complete course with webinars and transcripts, or various books on fundamental ways to increase web traffic forms a combination for a beginner basics course to instruct new marketers on this topic. When you combine various PLR products to form a new one, it is a more valuable product that will almost certainly make you more profits. Number 13. Use the PLR as a bonus product to launch a new product. You can possibly write another version of the introduction, include personal experiences, expound on key points made in the content, and integrate your own videos or audio files. This does nothing to alter the PLR content, but it builds on the original. You have now created a product that is unique to you.